So one of the gods that they're acquiring is Baphomet. It's Satan, man. That's why when you see the music video, they always throw this up. Okay? Beyonce throw this up. Uh -huh. Rihanna throw this up. That's why she said, I'm the little princess of the, uh, the Illuminati. Uh-huh. So that yep. white man, like a white man, like that, keep a note of her. And little book that is marked up, Rihanna, and then Princess, look. Yeah, go and speak to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't shoot. You know, she made this, um, this lady, the lady asked she watched it. She she put her hand over her eyes. She said, it's time to get Enchantments are doing and sublim subliminal messages. We're talking about the Illuminati and he calling, he calling out uh, Medusa here. So that's a symbol, that's a symbol, symbol for Versace, Medusa head, the head with the snakes on it. And they flash in the head with the snakes in front of their face. And you repeat the name over as I'm chanting like I'm doing. As the devil I did. So, so, yeah, so I'm going to show you what Jay-Z and Lil Wayne is doing. Now read this one real quick, huh? the yellow part. Uh, uh, the New World Order conspirators uh -huh. carefully use the secret arcane language of symbolism. Okay, Their symbol for the New World Order uh -huh. is a triangle with the Latin word um, at the base, New World Order. Yeah, so the, so the triangle is this. That's why you see um, uh, Selassie. I'm going to get the picture real quick. Where's the arm folder? Right, so last year, so last year it does the reverse of the overlay. It's just so much goes back to vagina worship. They see and they and they bring the hip hop world, they, they flip it up. They talk about the Rockefeller, but that died when they put it up the same way. So last year they do the reverse. And then they have other they have other ways that they do it too. Right, but they fold up their fingers. No, it does not. It represents so a, represent a pyramid. The, the symbol of the Illuminati. So, so last what we have here by his, by his private right. So, right. so, so he threw the triangle, which, re which represent the uh, uh, eye of Horus, as he keep reading. All right, read that. And yeah. a lot of rappers does that. A lot of reggae artists does that. Yeah, that's why. Right. Yeah. That's We're why. supposed to do this. That's when they see when they see Jay Z when he do that, they actually see him like he looking through it, and I think, uh -huh. like he, one eye looking through it, and I pretty much was one eye and he do something. That's right, so when Selassie got conquered, I, I, I believe by the Italian regiment, he went to Queen Elizabeth for to get for help, to the British for help. So she said, you know what, if, if I'm gonna help you, if I'm gonna sponsor you, you gotta throw, uh, you, gotta, you gotta worship Satan. You gotta bow down. You gotta bow down to me, because anybody that become a prime minister had to bow down to Queen Elizabeth. All right, Patrick Manning did it. Okay, uh, what's the name, Kamala did it. That's right. That's right. All we gotta bow down to. Okay. So that book is going to. Yeah. That's right. So that book is going to explain it. Read it, bro. The, uh, the triangle with the Latin word. Come on. At the base, Novus Ordo. Uh, chlorum. It's a chlorum. The it's Latin. New, new world order. Yeah, the Latin meaning New World Order Come from on. the ages. And under the all seeing eye of Lucifer. That's right. And it represents the seeing eye of Lucifer. So when you watch rap videos or, or, or these artists, look out for that. And that means they, they gave their life to say Not cutting it across, uh, uh -huh. but they scooped the new world order, they scooped up the same boat because anybody, this, the, the scripture says in Job 9 24, the word is good, is given into the hands of the wicked. That's right, brother. Right? So anybody that, that aspires and achieves and becomes high up in this world, uh -huh. successful, the Illuminati scoop them up one time. They scoop up the same boat. The same right. boat is putting itself in the hands of the same ring. Presently, go on YouTube and, and, and do, the, do the research. You will see that. Yeah, because it's, 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 it's funny how you say both war, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he had a partner, I think it's Asaf, Asafa Pao. Asafa Pao. Asafa yeah. Pao. And he's co a, a couple uh, a couple runners, they tested him for positive for drugs. And they said, man, we got to make sure he win. Uh, 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 Asafa Pao was shocked. Yeah, yeah. He was shocked because he was there on his lead. He was yeah. fast too. Yeah. So now they, all these are runners is coming up uh, positive for drugs. Because they gotta make sure you saying bulk win. Because he served Satan. That's why he got that masonry. Okay? 
And like uh, Martin Luther King, everybody thinks Martin Luther King was a righteous man. He wasn't righteous. Martin Luther King was going to Denmark, popping little boys. And when you see some of his picture, he threw the monocoque on the right? He threw this up, telling you that he represents Satan. Martin, it wasn't nothing righteous about Martin Luther King. Read his biography in Time Magazine. That dude was wicked, man. Now finish reading that, huh? And, um, yeah. Under the old skin, eye of Lucifer, uh -huh. and the top of the triangle. Come on. This was an ancient Egyptian symbol of uh -huh. the sun god Ra. This is an ancient symbol of what? The sun god Ra. Uh -huh. The Horus eye represents Lucifer, the Satan, the devil. Uh -huh. Recently, other strange symbols began to appear on the cover of Foreign Affairs magazine. Come on. Official voice of the CFR, uh -huh. the powerful arm of the Illuminati for, for a one world government. A one world government. And that's what Roman Catholic means. When you break out the word Catholic, it means it goes back to, uh, what's that? Well, yeah, one world. All right, it goes back to universal. Uni means one, versal means world. One world order. The Roman Catholic system, anybody could be there. All right? Uh, they, they worship idols in there too. Michael the Angel, Mary. Okay? You're not supposed to be in those demonic churches, man. Selassie did not come from a tribe of some Okay, Selassie was actually an uh, Elamite, an uh, East Indian. He wasn't even an Ethiopian. He was an Elamite, man. Huh? Alright, so these Rastafarian has lost a gun on his island, man. There's a documentary on YouTube, right? Right? When he went to Jamaica, I can't remember the year, right? Yeah, for the first time, right? Twenty in the um twenty seconds in twenty second twenty two seconds in the in the documentary. The speech to the Jamaican audience. He said, I want to give God thanks for giving me the opportunity to come to Jamaica. I always wanted to come to Jamaica. If Haile Selassie was the Supreme God as the Rastafarian say, why would he have to give God time? Right? Not saying he came to Trinidad. And I'm telling you. He came to Trinidad too. Right. Yeah, they went down to South. And, and who, 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 who Haile Selassie and his entourage, who he gave most attention to? That is God? It's a little puppy. That will he gave most attention to? Worshiping his pet. And, 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 and Marcus Garvey, Marcus Garvey called out Selassie. Marcus Garvey called out Selassie. I'm going to read something to you real quick. It said the Rastafarian movement began with the teaching of Marcus Garvey between 1887 and 1940. A black Jamaican who led the black, the, the back to Africa movement because he was real heavy into Africa. You call that Pan Africanism. We have Pan Africanists in Trinidad right now on radio program trying to bring the black youths together and send them back and, and bring, bring the African minds together. That won't happen. But this, but this is what Marcus Garvey taught. He said he taught that the Negroes are the true Israelites and have been exiled to Jamaica and other parts of the world as divine punishment. Marcus Garvey knew the truth, man. That's why they exiled him out of America and shipped him back right back to Jamaica. Because Marcus Garvey, you know, he was starting up uh, uh, with that black owned businesses. But the CIA didn't like that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because he was he was real heavy into into entrepreneurship. You know, black people starting their own business. And this is what Marcus Garvey said about um that uh, that faggot of Selassie. Marcus himself, Marcus Garvey himself, however, did not think highly of Selassie. He regarded him as an incompetent leader. What do you call it to me, my brother? Watch. It means lacking qualification. Right? Not capable. Now, not incapable. Not qualified. This is what Marcus Garvey said about Selassie. So when you see a Rastafarian and Maxi, cut the... <laughs> and a matter of fact, a matter of fact, as you say in Rastafarianism, these Rastafarians Rastafari, who up in St. Joseph, they claim to be a, to be of the tribal 
or on the leading hands are involved. If you read the scripture, you're not supposed to partake in anything of the vine. You're not supposed to partake in anything of the alcohol. And you're not supposed to be around the dead. If your mother, your father, anybody die around you, you're supposed to cut off your dress. And start yeah, well, you can drink vinegar. You're not supposed to even drink vinegar. And the dread that they talk about in the the, the locks they talk about in the scripture was not dreadlocks. That dreadlocks came from the Hamites. Well, this is real quick before you move see, bro. I'll read that green book too about the break. It said, um, he regarded him as an incompetent leader in conclusion with white oppressors after he defeated by the Italian uh, acceptance of the British assistance to regain his throne in 1937. Garvey wrote in the uh, editorial entitled the failure of Haley Selassie as emperor. You know, so he, he wasn't nothing, right? And he didn't, he, he, didn't, he bowed down to Queen Elizabeth, and that's why Marcus Garvey was upset. If, you, if you're the son of God, why are you going to bow down to, to a woman who's coming at Yeah, why are you going to bow down if you're the son of God? Son of God? You're just right, then bow down to hell. That's right. None of them. None of them. He's one of everyone I know. Hey, Mikey, Daddy. Mikey, since I'm going to go, listen. You just need to mention some of the Jews that I want to have more. Mikey, Daddy. So, if you're doing your own history, you can tell it. We'll see the first people that could ever stand in this history with the Arabs. The first people. And the Arabs are capturing the Jews and selling them over to the Europeans. And the same Jews and the Europeans buy over from the Arabs, and the same Jews they take up on the western part and they put and they put them as slaves. And Ghana has children and they are Jackie. So how do you get the African? And this is coming out of the last day of the book. Let me finish this real quick. The set on. At the age of It said uh, he died a year later under a mysterious circumstance as his body was found buried under a toilet in the Imperial Palace. So Selassie was buried under a damn toilet. He was wasn't Christ was in the tomb and he resurrected what? The third day? Not this piece of shit. Selassie was buried under a toilet. Huh? What kind of kid is this? So when you see a Rastafarian with long hair, they say, boy, you know your, 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 you know your king, right? Your lord was buried on the toilet. You know that, right? <laughs> this is, um, I just want to bring out the true meaning of locks, because they say in the scriptures, Samson had seven locks, mm -hmm. right? Now, if Samson had seven locks, imagine Samson with seven of them dread just so he would look like a pineapple. <laughs> Samson would look like a pineapple. So here was the two meaning of locks, right? Yeah. Braided locks of the Nazarite Samson. Braided, right? So, what does the word braid mean? To bring three locks up here and, and intertwine it. That's yeah. a lock. So Samson yeah, actually had rows, like key and rows or four and rows, whatever you want to call it. That's what Samson had. Samson didn't have that hermetic lock. That hermetic dread lock actually came from the Monroe priest who used to sleep in cow shit and cow piss to, to become a priest. And they used to mass up the hair with cow shit and cow piss. You understand? That's where that dreadlock came from. You can show you that in 10,000 feet. You have to the hair with cow. And there's only question. Yeah, because they said, they said he was, uh... Huh? Yeah, they said, um... Ethiopia's government denounced him as a tyrant. And this is what the Ethiopian said about Selassie. The Ethiopian government, the government denounced him as a tyrant and exploited the people of Ethiopia as a brutality and ex uh, extreme oppression of his reign. So he oppressed the people, huh? Selassie. And it said, um. It said many Ethiopians denounced the worship of uh, Ethiopia, Ali Selassie, as God, who does inspire the use of their flag and symbol as Rastafarian. So the people denounced him as Rastafarian. So why did they be Rastafarian on this island saying Ali Selassie is the son of God? When it's saying here, he's pretty much a piece of shit. 
I mean, well, like, piece of information. Sam, so was also a righteous man of the scripture, say, right? So he was secretly the lost statutes of commandments. And one of the lost statutes of commandments is that a man should not go his and suffer his love to go long. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 14. Do not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Right? This is Ezekiel 44 and um, 20. Neither shall they shave their heads nor suffer their locks to grow long. They shall only pull their heads. So what does the word pull mean? Pull means to trim or to cut. You understand? So, nevertheless, if the Rastafarians claim to be doing something right, just they, they're going against the law, statute of commandments, and the most because they're not supposed to have that law. <laughs> Alright, this, this is a radio station that interviewed Selassie, and this is what Selassie has said out of his own mouth. Haley Selassie was an Ethiopian Orthodox Christian and explicit, explicit denied his divine status as proclaimed in Jamaica. So he's telling I'm not the divine one. Like he's he's saying that on said. radio. So why did he both head or worship in Selassie? He said in a radio interview with, that's right, they made him as a god. In a radio interview with Canada, CBC News in 1967, And they can catch said, that on YouTube. They can catch that interview sure. on YouTube. He said, I have heard of that that idea that I am divine. I also met certain Rastafarians. He met a person. He said, I told him clearly that I am a man, that I am a mortal, and that I will be replaced by an oncoming generation, and that they should not never make a mistake in assuming or pretending that a human being is emanated from a deity. Emanated means a flow, it's an issue. And said so this denial has not deterred Rastafarians from believing the emperor to, to be divine. And said so it ain't changed the Rastafarian mind. They said, nah, boy, you're the son of God. You're the son of God. He said out his own mind, I'm not the son of God. He said that. Oh man. And and this Ras, this, he didn't even have a Ras. So he didn't even set the example of having a Ras. Yeah, so what's his Ras? What's his Ras? And, and the word is the reading origins of Rastafarianism. <laughs> Rastafarianism began in the slums of Jamaica after slavery. These people knew in their heart that there was a God, but they did not want to they, they did not want to um, embrace the white man's God, which was the white dimension. The word Ethiopia just means um dark, right? Burnt. That's what Ethiopian means, burnt. So this guy looks burnt. He don't look um, burnt. Look at his countenance real good. He's like East Indian. He's an Elamite. He's not even Ethiopian. And they said that he he came from the tribe of Judah, right? They said that he came from in, 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 in just, um, Solomon. Solomon. He did not come from the tribe of Judah. Queen Chiba, or Princess Chiba, whatever her name was, she came and she gave gifts to Solomon. And the only gift Solomon gave to her was knowledge, was wisdom. He didn't get, he did not sleep with her. So, she, so any of it, he 